hello friend welcome to tech advice channel so friend uh, today in this video uh, i'm going to show you that how can you create your uh, credential as well as the uh, secret key in the gcp platform uh, for using the drive api so uh, friends if you are watching this video first time so please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon uh, so let's start uh, the process uh, how to create the credential as well as the secret key uh, in the, our gcp platform so first of all we have to go to our uh, cloud console so let me go to my uh, cloud console first so here i have selected already one project and under this project basically i'm going to create a credential so once we, uh, we, uh, we open our uh, cloud console then we have to select one, uh, one of our project uh, so then uh, we have to go to navigation menu then from navigation menu we can we have the option api and services so we have to go to uh, that option All right so um, yeah so uh, i i'm also showing that okay uh, from navigation menu basically api and, uh, and services uh, when i we click that one that option then it will be uh, showing this uh, console so once we click that uh, enable api so then we have a search option then we can from here we can we can uh, search our drive api so once you search the drive api then it will show us the google drive api so we just click on that and then uh, try uh, enable it basically so i already enable it so for this case like you see that uh, it's showing manage for me and we have a documentation also so you can just read it uh, from here uh, for the uh, product explorer and now let me come back again to that api and services mm. so basically from api on services we have we have one option it's called uh, credential so we have to click on that uh, so let me find it uh, from this navigation menu uh, from api and services yeah uh, so you can see here uh, we have a credential option so you have to click uh, credential option right uh, then after that uh, you can see that uh, it will open one uh, another uh, uh windows uh basically so there we have one option is called create, create credential so once uh, we click on that so it will pop up as a uh, four option basically so one is api key uh, second is auth client id and the third is uh, service account and the fourth is help me choose okay so basically we have to uh, create auth uh, client id so click on that so if you are uh, creating this client id basically the first time so it will be basically uh, need to require to configure consent screen so for me also the same thing i'm doing the first time uh, so the, i have to configure the consent screen so click on that it's basically need to provide your like uh, you know developer uh, id as well as uh, like uh, you need to give the user type so here we have two option one is uh, internal as well as the external so you can select either internal or external so and now for my case i'll i have to choose internal because i'm i don't want to use uh, from other organization so uh, and for external basically you can you can create uh, select the external and then you can put your uh, account id also so now for uh, now go to create option and then then you can see here uh, we have to give provide the app information also so you have to give some name uh, it's basically the name and then all app domain and etc etc so here basically is the form uh, so you have to fill up uh, this form uh, so uh, here i'm also giving uh, some uh, name app name basically get file from drive basically so uh, you can choose any name uh, that one which basically you can choose uh, depending on your task or what what task you're gonna do then we have to give uh, next one is user support email and then uh, actually i skip this portion because uh, for security reason the next is uh, app domain and if you want to provide some domain also you can just authorize some domain and have to like next we have to provide the developer contact information so here also i'm providing uh, some developer contact information then after that i'll just uh, do the save and continue okay so i just click on save and continue and then uh, my next screen you can see here how we have a sensitive and non-sensitive sensitive scope so i just uh, continue so here you can see that uh, it's already created so there uh, now it's already done now i have to go to again uh, the credential option for create the my um, uh, 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 client id as well as a secret key so here here you can see that to limit basically the uh, per day on the token limit basically uh, so let me go to the again credential yep 
uh, then I have to again free click on create credential and then again uh, I have to create uh, auth client ID uh, once I click on that then it you see that uh, it will asking me that application what for what application I'm gonna use this one so I select the web application then uh, name of that uh, web application or client ID something okay so what what name you want to do, give so you can uh, provide that uh, as per your uh, requirement so I just uh, here put uh, get file from uh, G drive okay mm, so it's, you can put anything uh, here any unique name uh, okay and uh, you can if you want to add uh, URI, uh, URI then you can add and next uh, okay I just create this one so I don't need to put any other extra uh, things so you see that it's already created so I just uh, blurred this portion um, because uh, you know security reason so that's why uh, and I can download this uh, as a JSON okay and once I download this JSON key, then you just use this one for a uh, for like a, you know future purpose, and then her uh, rest time make it like okay, mm, and basically uh, it's created already. So you can see here the name already uh, get file form, and I have also client uh, client ID already. So uh, this is the process uh, by which basically you can create. Uh, uh, your client ID as well as the secret key so friends uh, if you if you uh, like this video so please subscribe to this channel and share this video like comment and thank you friend